It's moving day. I'm just throwing things in boxes at this point. Okay, you ready to see your new home? Look at the skincare drawer. Isn't it gorge? I'm gonna take just a quick little nap. It's game time and I'm up one. Name something I ain't done. Name a body that's my type. Air Jordan, I'll take flight. I'm next level, I'm French. You are winner. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Prep Diary series. It's moving day. As you can see, my house is an absolute wreck. But it's okay, because we're moving today into a bigger place. Well, we live in a townhome right now. We're moving into a house. So the mover should be here in a little bit. And then I get to go pick up the keys at 10 30 a.m and it's about 8 15 so i'm like packing up the kitchen because i needed to keep some last minute things for prep like my supplements and things so i'm going to show you like the you really get to know what necessities you have when you move because it's the things that you keep the longest so we have brekkie you gotta pack up all of these things and then over here, the things that like I kept were, you know, my face roller. There are only three, three seasonings, my little spray, supplements, green. So now I gotta pack, we gotta pack all this up. Look, it's just trashed in here. It's just, where's Zachy? Hi, baby. What's up? We're moving. <laughs> at this point guys since we literally found this place last week signed it the lease a couple days and then moved in the next week i'm just throwing things in boxes at this point <laughs> ah, get in <sighs> Guys, look at Vision's teeny tiny little sweater. I have it on a hanger. Ooh, okay, we are so wetty. We're in the car. I have all like my necessities here. Vision and Reese are right here. We were able to fit them all. I'm gonna blast the air so they could get some air. But um, I put like everything that I absolutely needed in here. We have my like computer so I can continue like to work, my food, uh, supplements, like, like just the necessities, all my makeup and stuff. Um, so we're getting ready to go get the keys. It's been a couple hours, so um, as soon as they started filming, the movers got here and it was just too loud. Um, they went to go back for a second round, so here is the kitchen. It's so much bigger than what I have right now, and I'm so excited. I'm already planning on that being my supplement cabinet. I'm already, like, ready to go, and I'm getting ready to take the boys out and let them roam around because um, Vision is actually scared of boxes, so we have tons of kitchen stuff here the living room. We're still trying to figure out like which way we want to do the couch. There's a backyard. Here's to the master bedroom. Da, 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 da. Don't mind these stains. Um, when I first started dating Zach, I did, um, <laughs> I did tanning, like the ones that you put on your body and I straight up stained his entire mattress. And we didn't realize until like we washed the, sh the sheets and stuff. So, bathroom look how pretty the floor is we got a shower shower i already you know picked my side of the bathroom this is Zach's side this is my side and what's super cool is the bathroom goes in to the closet which also goes in to the laundry room which we're gonna get the laundry is actually gonna go there. 
and then the garage is in here um, and it comes back around to the kitchen. Here's a bathroom, nothing fancy here. Let's go upstairs. So right when you walk in the front door, there's stairs that go up and there's actually carpet here. So, guys, I'm already so tired. <sighs> Little sitting room. And then there's three bedrooms up here. So this is gonna be my office and somehow the podcast studio too. I'm not sure where we're gonna fit it, but maybe this corner, I'm not sure. Or this corner is gonna be difficult, but we'll make it work. And look, just in case I get an extra closet <gasps> for more stuff. And there's actually windows in there. So this is my office. Then we have the guest bathroom. And, oh cool, more storage here. Look how pretty. It's me again. Okay, the next room, this is gonna be Zach's office. This is the one that he chose with the little window. And then this will be the guest bedroom. Ta-da! Ooh! And they get a closet too. Okay! We can let the boys out to roam around their new home. Also, look how much light. I love it. Look at all these windows here. Okay, you ready to see your new home? You wanna explore? Okay. Freedom! Reese is not happy. Run around. There you go, you like your new home? <laughs> Sniffing, you like, buddy? Oh, you happy? You get a backyard. I'm actually gonna show y'all the backyard, too. Vision has never had a backyard. They actually forgot to mow it, so it's a little, it's a little weedy, but someone's gonna come and mow it. And they get so much room out here, and there's the patio. Look how much, guys, when I um, went and looked at this place, because I'm a content creator, I literally, like there was a checklist that I had of things that I needed content wise, because we work from home and it's like important to love where you're living. Um, I uh, put my food in the fridge already and look what I got. Boom, we are gonna need this. Gonna crack open this bad boy. It's not my favorite flavor. Strabango margarita, but whew, I'm running on low calories. I can hear the boys running around upstairs. Oh, it's so cute. All right, let's unpack. Vision is scared of all the boxes, so he's hiding behind his cage where there are no boxes. <laughs> you okay, buddy? Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Are you happy? Yeah. Oh, now you want attention, okay. So, the closet is not as big as I thought. Cause at the old, at my old place actually, I took up the art, the entire closet of the master bedroom. And Zach's closet was in his office and now we're sharing one, but good thing we also have, hey buddy. We also have um, closets in our bedroom. So I think that I'm gonna put my gym clothes in the master and I might have to put like my normal people clothes up in my office cause there's no way it's all gonna fit. So I have my gym clothes in this handy dandy box. And look, I didn't even have to do anything to it. And yes, my sports bras are color coded. to get a new bed frame, a new bed frame, and a new dresser, because our dresser that we have right now is too tiny. Let me show you what I've done so far. So, I'm thinking like for now is gonna have to be like all my gym clothes, and here's like my purses, here's extra gym shoes, like I can't fit all my shoes here. I know I could probably like 
do something else additional down here for storage. But Zach's stuff is all fitting there. And I'm like, geez, I got so much stuff. So I might have to move some upstairs. I just don't know like what I want to move upstairs yet. So yeah, we still got boxes over here. <sighs> At least I have my shower stuff. And um, this is the dresser that's too small. Like they just like the, it doesn't come out far. You know what I mean? So I have, um, I moved my like socks and undies and all that into the closet. Cause I'm, that's where I need them anyways. And I put my little like jammies in here, my shorts for the gym. Everything's just gonna kind of have to be all over the place for a while until I figure it out. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with these drawers. So obviously I'm taking over Zach's area also. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> he doesn't really have much stuff. He keeps like all of his stuff right there. So this drawer is deeper. So I'm doing some stand up products here. I'm just kind of like playing around, but look at the skincare drawer. Isn't it gorge? We have these all over here. <gasps> also, crazy. What was I thinking? Moving in the middle of prep this close to my show. <sighs> Anyways, there was no other choice like this is literally the only weekend I have free before my show. I know I haven't told you guys the show date yet, but I feel awful. <laughs> and I'm laughing about it because <laughs> yesterday I had like the most insane leg day. I don't know what happened, but like it was one of those days where I thought I was gonna have the worst workout and I ended up having the best workout. And my soreness for leg days always happens the next day around like the evening, like four to 5 p.m. So it hit me like a ton of bricks. I've been, I've drank like four of these already and I just put a Hydra Pack from Buff Chick in it because I'm, I'm like losing it, man. But I'm in my office trying to figure out like what to do with it. I just needed to like, you know, come in here and be alone for a second, by alone, I mean with y'all. But prep update, uh, I told, Coach knows that I was moving and everything and he gave me today, basically today's Friday. Friday is Saturday, off of cardio. So tomorrow I can just sleep in and I don't have to do cardio. Oh my God, it's crazy. Uh, and I still get my high carb day on Saturday, which is tomorrow. <laughs> So I don't have to do cardio and I get more carbs tomorrow because I really wish I would have started my watch to see how many calories I've burned because these next three days are just gonna be like us unpacking and organizing everything. And we still have our old place until like mid September. So we still have to go back and like clean it and there's trash and all this stuff in it. So I'm trying to decide like where to put the podcast set up. So I'm gonna just show you, maybe y'all can help. Okay, so this is the space. I love, I, I love the natural light that comes in. Sorry, it looks all backlit right now because there's so much light coming in. And then I get my own closet and I think this is where I'm gonna have to put all my normal people clothes because our closet isn't as big as I thought it was gonna be. But if this is kind of nice to have this extra, like a content room. So I don't know guys, what do you think? I, ugh, I'm trying to figure out like where where the podcast setup should be. I don't know, it might need to be in this corner. We're thinking of doing chairs, like instead. So like two chairs where we just sit side by side. Oh my gosh, I literally don't know. Comment down below what you guys think, like I don't know. I might need to move my desk somewhere else. And then maybe if I move my desk like here and we do the podcast, no, because that won't work. What if we did the chairs in a corner here? Oh, I don't know. Okay, we're organizing the office now. I just keep jumping from like different thing to different thing because it's very overwhelming. So I'll do a little bit somewhere and then go somewhere else. And I love 
that I have a bathroom right next to me because you guys know I've been drinking lots of water. Zach asks me to come downstairs and help him mount the TV. What can't you do yourself? Oh, I know. Is it because you need a strong bodybuilder woman to help you? <laughs> a strong body, babe, come on. Do it for the video. It is currently 8.22 and we just finished packing, I mean unpacking for the day. Look, if you look in this area right here, it looks like my place. But then, whoop, bam, bam. So Zach just saged the whole house and then he lit some incense and we have friends on and I love my new bathroom, guys. The lighting in it is so good, I have to show you. Good morning, guys. It is the next day and of course, my body be waking me up early. I don't have to go do cardio today. It's a Saturday and my body still woke me up at 5.30 a.m. And the world isn't awake on a Saturday at 5.30 a.m. So I am driving to get a coffee. I took Zach's car because um, I didn't want to wake him up because the garage is so close to the master bedroom. And he was so tired after all the heavy lifting yesterday. So we're going to Starbies. We're kind of living in like semi secluded area. So it's like a whole nine minutes. Can I get a Grande Blonde Americano? Okay. With Is that going to be hot or ice? Hot. Okay, Grande Blonde Hot Americano. Anything else? Two pumps of sugar free vanilla syrup and two Splenda. Okay, the package is secured. So, since today is a high carb day, uh, and I didn't have to do cardio, like I was telling you guys, I've been trying, it's, it's 7 a.m. now, on a Saturday. So I've been trying to find like a store. I just need like, like one avocado, since we don't have much in the new house. We have, I have like, my regular meals like my protein and stuff but like not really my breakfast i have my egg whites i have my eggs but i did i what honestly wasn't expecting coach to give me another high carb day so i didn't like plan and shop for it so i need to see and i'm wearing my slippies guys i'm literally in a hoodie joggers and my slippies and i'm like bro i might have to walk into an heb like this i might have to so I picked up some tacos for Zach this morning while I was out before he woke up. Your eyes look so tiny right now. When he's sleepy, his eyes are so small. All you can see is cheeks. <laughs> okay, are they good? They were from that a little like. They are good, baby. And they hit all, they have to hit. He has certain specifications uh -huh. for his tacos and I know what they are. They need to have green salsa, uh -huh. check. Uh -huh. They need to have orange cheese. He doesn't like, it has to be orange None cheese. Of white cheese. None of the white cheese. And, and? And, uh, is there a third thing? Good tortillas. Good tortilla. I'm sorry, you're right. Is the, the tortilla, tortilla good? Is what makes the difference. Exactly. Yes. The yes. Because check. It's just eggs, cheese, and bacon. You're right. Yeah. Check, check, check. I did good? I know you well. It's one, two, three. Wait, one, uh, two, uh. three. <laughs> so, Zach. <laughs> Zach has a habit of just completely misplacing things and then vanishing from thin air. So we're looking for the drill and we can't find it anywhere. Like we've been looking for a while now and like, like it's gone. Like we don't know where it is and we're gonna need it. <laughs> We've looked in like our cars, like everything. Could it be in my car? Like what are the odds? Like what? I don't know. <laughs> also, look how bomb the lighting in here is. Ooh. 
Guys, my waist is getting tinier by the day. I've also been living, I think I'm gonna buy more of these. These are Alphalete shorts. I didn't like them before that much because they're, they're long, but they're like girls basketball shorts. And I've been living, they have pockets. They're so freaking comfortable. You found it? Oh no. Did you just say that you wouldn't have put it in here? I didn't put it in there. Yeah, you did. I put it in yes, you thing. did. Uh, See. Then I put it in, in there. Uh huh. That was all. This is always what happens, guys. He always says, "I always find it, and I know where it is." And he's like, "It's not going to be there, and it's there." I found it. I was in here looking. And I said, found it. Uh huh. Get your hammer away from me. <laughs> <laughs> just, I found it waving around a hammer. <laughs> you can always count on the girl to find it. <laughs> Oh my God, I didn't put earrings on. So um, in one of my last videos, I think it was the Buff Chick event. Also, my hair looks fucking crazy right now. Um, I was wearing gold hoops and like a green, and y'all loved my outfit and my makeup. Thank you so much, that was so sweet. And the hoops that I was wearing, I love them so much. My friend Erica bought them for me for my birthday a couple years ago. And I love the size, they're so perfect. And I, moving, I was wearing them when I was moving. Um, and I lost one. I looked into the mirror and I was like, uh, I am missing an earring. And it's like very noticeable because one's a big hoop. And I can't find it anywhere. Hopefully I can find it. But in the meantime, I ordered some uh, replacement ones. But, and they came and they're a lot smaller. They're not the exact same size, so I'm like, I need to ask her where she got them because I need that same size. They were just so cute. So right now we're on our way back to the old place. There's still some stuff like even with the movers help, we did two, two runs yesterday. Well, I say we, they did, Zach and the movers and they were so sweet. They were like these young boys, kid, I don't know. They're probably in their like early 20s or something like that. Um, they were so sweet. Um, we got them like some lunch in between both of the runs. They were sweating. It was a hot day. So I was like, okay, let's go get them some lunch, get them some, some water, take a little break skis before we go on. But we're going to go back for the rest of our stuff and kind of clean the apartment just a little bit. We still have the apartment until September 15th. So we have time to come back and clean later because... Uh, we don't need to do it right now, but there's still some stuff in the fridge that I need to grab uh, food wise uh, for to be prepared for today. And I need my sauces. I need all my sauces. So we're going to go do that. Drop off some of the trash. What else? Oh, I wanted to update you guys on my IFBB Pro card because I know I kind of gave you all a scare in my last um, prep update because I was freaking scared. I was like, oh my God, don't tell me that I just lost my pro card. So, everything is good. I got the email for the IFBB Pro League and they didn't say anything about me like, not re-upping it. So I went and I like logged into my account and then I re, you have to have like a membership for the, to be in the IFBB Pro. I, I, I did it and then I got the confirmation email that's like, you're good. I got my little card, my IFBB Pro card that you can, um, screenshot or like print it out so it's saved into my favorites on my phone so we're good um to compete this year and i don't have to re-qualify so thank god holy guacamole oh i'm melting it's so hot it's such a beautiful day but i'm melting i got the goods so zach has his little meditation chair that he uses for um outside he wanted to put it in my car and then i got some more laundry stuff and the rest of my food from the fridge and my sauces and zach's sour cream because he likes to have it with his quesadillas so whew, i'm gonna go home we're gonna unload this stuff there's still like a couple things that are left but like we still have enough time so we just grabbed another round of like necessities that we needed but i wanted to update you guys because we have so many girls that are in the six week fall shred. I am so excited for it. It's still open if you got, by the time you're seeing this, it might be the last day that we have it at the discounted price. I believe so. Um, 
I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure after I checked my calendar. But um, I'm so pumped because uh, what I love about doing a shred challenge, especially when I'm on prep for a show, is that it genuinely feels like we're doing it together. And, you know, if there's ever any like sucky moments or, or you know, you're tired or whatever, or I lack motivation or discipline, I have like an entire group of women that are also like supporting me as well, just as much as I'm supporting them. So if you have been falling off from your consistency, I mean, the summer is ending and you know, everyone's going back to school, trying to get back into a routine. And I know that like when it's the summer for me, things are just like, a, they're just like slightly different, you know, and we're going into like the cooler months. So this is like the perfect time to like reset, you know, have that supportive community. You know, your training is going to be covered. Your nutrition is covered. Your, your cardio instruction, if necessary, is covered. You know, you're going to have all everything available to you, like on an app. And we have the hour long coaching calls, which are once a week. And honestly, those are my favorite part. So um, I can't wait to do that and kick it off. So if you guys are interested, the link is going to be in the description. I'd love to see you there. Now let's get back home and unload this stuff. Okay. So we are back home. I'm making a grocery list so that I can Instacart. And I wanted to show you guys my organized desk. This is like, you know, my journaling um, calendar and everything extra clippies, you know, lip gloss, all my like uh, camera stuff. And then on this side, it's more like pens. Look how cute these are, these little sticky notes. My little label maker, which I might need to whip out later today. Some thank you cards that I send to followers. Um, incense, stuff like that. Look how beautiful it is. Okay, so this is what I have so far. <laughs> with some decor. My chair, we got some pillows and blankets. I'm just kind of like testing out to see what everything is looking like. I'm thinking what I'm going to do for this corner is actually get a, um, what's it called? Like a corner shelf of some sort, like something to go there and make, make it a plant, little plant sanctuary. Um, then, I also have this chest, which is awesome. So this was actually in my childhood home and this held our TV. And my parents, like when they were moving from San Antonio to Austin, they were like, do you want me to get rid of it? And I was like, no, because what I could do is take these arms off and turn this into like another place where I keep my plants and it doesn't really have a back, so I can always like remove it. So the only place that we could really put it is like here. So I don't know. Also comment down below your ideas. Hi guys, it's currently 4.30. I've been working on everything. We got our washer and dryer and I wanted to show you, I finally finished organizing under my sink where my beauty area is. Okay, so we have this side, which is hair and makeup. So I have my little makeup basket, extra, palettes and I love these containers. I get them from Amazon. They're the story brand and uh, extra hair accessories. This is, this is a drawer dedicated just to lipsticks and then extra makeup is down there. Now we have the hair side, all my hair tools and stuff. And then back here, here's where I'm keeping. This is like back stock of stuff and then my skincare stuff and like masks and tools and then my first drawer here is my favorite this is my favorite drawer i'm gonna be honest it's just so gorge and then underneath it this deeper one is for like bigger products so i have like all my hair products here my face wash fits there my face shavers brush cleaner makeup brush cleaner my uh tool that i use for my face and then extra you know, skincare. Um, and then all these have, you know, hair tools and um, bobby pins. This is so big, it doesn't fit standing up. And you know how much dry shampoo I need. So um, I am buying more of these bamboo organizers. I also, guys, all the stuff I used to organize my house is on my Amazon favorites list. And I bought more of them so that I can put them in these areas. So for now, I just have this clear container holding all my little 
face scrunchies. And then on Zach's side, like he literally just likes all his stuff in this basket, to be honest. I have, basically everything is mine. I don't know. There's some of his stuff here too. He just doesn't have that much beauty stuff. These are all my travel bags um, for when I travel. Bunch of lint rollers, all our extra chargers for things. First aid stuff like band-aids and whatnot. And this is just like extra. This is basically like sun and skin care. Um, I also have my Pro Tan Get Buffed. This is what I use when I get ready for competition. And then extra creams, dental stuff, restock of Q-tips and stuff like that. Good morning, guys. It is day three of moving and we are going to the farmer's market. So I had some groceries delivered yesterday, as you guys saw, but we still need eggs, uh, yeah. kombucha, uh -huh. and kombucha. dog treats. Zach calls kombucha <laughs> cam kambuka, and he's dead serious. That's how he thinks <laughs> it's pronounced, but it's not. So now we just call it kombucha, kombucha to make fun of him. <laughs> but um, we like to come early to make sure we get the farmer's market eggs, which I showed you guys the difference in the yolks not only the taste, but the color. It's like orange versus bright neon yellow. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. back from the farmer's market and this is what we got so they have some flowers hi boys they have some flowers there you like the flowers look how cool this one is like what even is that vision likes it too and then we got two dozen farmer's market eggs we got some little treats these are their favorite treats and I got some microgreens these are like broccoli broccoli microgreens and then a whole tub of kombucha. We buy the, we bought the container and you, we can just go every week and fill it up. And it's a little cheaper. And we got some pickles. We got pickled red onions, some kimchi for Zachary. These are Zach's too. What are these, English muffins? And then look what Zach got me, this plant. So I had a plant. No, 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 you don't even tell that story. <laughs> yes, we do. So I had a plant from this lady and she had, all of them are like this pretty where she decorates them and stuff and gives you instructions. I had one that had like layers, different layers. So it was like a layer of dirt, sand, and it was so pretty. And then Zach broke it and knocked it over. And uh, which I also bought by the way. Which he bought the first one. So he bought me another one to replace it. And it's very nice. And honestly, I think it's gonna look really good in the kitchen. Yeah. Guess who's here? My mini me. Oh well. my god. <laughs> she just reorganized everything in my kitchen. When I was organizing, there's a fly on my camera. For the first time, I was semi panicking having to do it alone. And every time I like have moved, I have this panic where I'm like, I need my mommy. And that's what I felt like on Friday. I was like, I need my mommy. And she just helped me like figure out a better system for where things should be based off of our routine. So look at this. Look at that. Look how beautifully organized this is. If you guys are ever wondering why I am the way I am, uh, this is why. <laughs> I love the way I am. Come on. <laughs> hey guys. Happy Monday. It is our first Monday in the new house. I woke up this morning, tried, you know, to get my morning routine down and it honestly went seamlessly. I'm going to a new gym in the morning so you guys will see that in the next videos but I wanted to show you guys like the finished product after three days of just straight work. We, we really did a lot and my parents helped so much. So my mom helped me with the entire kitchen and reorganizing it so that it actually like makes sense in the space with like how we live our life, like where things go. And my dad put away all of our boxes. We had so many boxes and we wanted to save them for, you know, 
if anyone ever needs boxes for moving or if we move again. And he put them all in our storage closet and made so much space. So I wanna show you what things look like so far. There's still a lot of work in my head, but I could not relax until I finished what I need to finish. So let's take a look. One of the things that was moved, this used to be over there. We still have some boxes, but um, we moved it here. And what I'm thinking about doing is removing the back. So this can be where I keep my plants and stuff, but that's gonna have to be a project for another day. The living room is looking so good. Hi, busy boy. Um, we got little poof, this. I still need to put some pillows here. I have all my pillows in the master bedroom. I just haven't decided. There's still some decor stuff that needs to be, you know, adjusted here and there. And then the kitchen. So I still, this is all my decor. This is all decor. I still have to figure out where it goes and if not, just put the rest in storage. So it's just here waiting for me to do it. And then my farmer's market plants. So pretty. And then this is what we've decided on. So I have this above the fridge. The thing that we use the most is the air fryer. So we keep that out. And this is the vibe right here. This pink is the new color of the house. This is the pink, it matches my nails perfectly. Found that at Target and it just oh, it looks so good. And then look how pretty this ended up looking. My little sister brought me that little plant and it just turned out so beautiful. And then we have the little coffee corner, you know, and there's my Sheppy Minch. And here's how the room turned out. I'm gonna turn the light on. We're gonna get a new bed frame. So that's why we're on the floor right now. But honestly, we kind of like it. It's kind of nice just like rolling out of bed. And I still need to do some decor stuff on Zach's side, but my side is looking good. I have some picture frames at our old place still. I'm gonna put above the bed and still some decor over here I don't know what to do with. And there's all my extra pillows I need to put in places. Let's look in the bathroom. I found a mat that matches the color and it's so soft. Just look at this. You just know this is soft, it's so squishy. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna get new towels because the that orange doesn't match with that. So that one matches a little bit better, but yeah, this is what it's looking like. I wanted to keep it as like as clear as I possibly could. Um, I still don't know what to do with these things. Finally, the closet is semi-organized. This is gonna be my jewelry area because I don't have like a cabinet in my room. The my most used shoes and bags, extra storage up there. And this is all my gym clothes. I don't have any normal people clothes here because it doesn't fit. So it's all upstairs in my office. Down here is where I've been keeping my um, joggers and stuff. I hung my gym bag because it's very important. Now, I'm gonna show you what I did with the upstairs. The guest bathroom is almost done. Now just very simple. I might switch out that little pottery thingy. Um, it, did, we don't have a shower rug, but we bought one at Target yesterday. So Zach's gonna put it up and there's the um, thing. It looks good. Okay, and for my office, this is what I got so far. You know, little rough draft. Yeah, I still need to put something there. Um, and you know, so I need to unload the podcast stuff today. And um, in here, this is where I put all my normal clothes and extra stuff, cause I have no room. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for the video. I'm gonna continue to update you guys on like new things that we're doing with the house and stuff, but I'm so happy. And Zach is so happy and our little boobies are so happy. They have so much room to like roam around and you know, sunbathe in the backyard and stuff and it's just so awesome so um the next video i'm actually going to be doing a dexa scan to see where my body fat is right now and i'm so excited because we haven't done one in a long time so stay tuned make sure you're subscribed for the prep diary series and as always i love you all so much and you're more powerful than you think